Parental discretion is advised. ShopWWEShop.com. Now you can get $10 off any order of $70 or more. Click on the link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com to support the mayhem. Wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time to attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time to attack. Hey guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We are here again. It's Sorg. We're in the Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. Yeah, the Buffalo. Yeah, we on the Buffalo. Buffalo, baby. I like buffaloes. Wow. Uh, and of course, with us, uh, I'm Sorg. We're here in the studio doing things. And out there, I don't know where he lives anymore because he just moved. DJ Lunchbox. Hey, what's up, hot dog? Currently, I'm coming to you from uh, Scenic Regent Square, uh, which is basically Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Thanks for narrowing that down. Out of Buffalo. On the couch, Mr. Chachi of Chachi says dot net. I caught you. Caught you looking at your phone. I'm bringing up the email. The email. The email. The email. Also from the Pittsburgh kind of region is Riz. No, that's, that's okay. They can't hear me. What? Uh, what? No, they suck anyways. What? 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 Oh, hey. Hey. How you guys doing? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Somebody's title is going to be changed here real quick. And hey, guess who's back? From San Antonio, and Texas. Back. It's back Wrestle. Again. It's re- it's a <laughs> Wrestle fan? Uh, wrestle fan? King of Maybe? Deflating Boners. That's my new name here on the Wrestle Mayhem Show. If you want to find play. out about that name, go to WMS Gold. Check it out this week. I am the king of Deflating Boners. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Also from the greater Pittsburgh region is Hot Wheels. Hey, what's up, folks? I'm still leading the way. That's right. That's right. Now, I got I to give props out to uh, to Risen Wheels because they both joined us when we uh, ran, ended up with no guests or co-hosts on the awesome cast. And we just tossed together a hangout and threw them yep. in there to talk about that. And, and I just wanted to say fuck. <laughs> That's all I wanted <laughs> to fuck, 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 We're not allowed fuck, to swear on that fuck, show. So, uh, oh, ass, bitch. Do it. I, I'm sorry. That was my bad. Um, hold on. God damn it, sword! Behave that. yourself we over there. That. It's all right. Um, so, anyways, what the fuck? Andy Warhol. Uh, hey, hey, it's a wrestling mayhem show. What we got? Comments, Andy Warhol right. in the chat room says, "I love you guys. Keep up the grand work." Oh, thank you, thank you. Grand. Grand. Are you British? Uh, is he also British? I don't know. Is that what's up? Uh, wait, speaking of British, we got an interview coming up later in this show with Dan Hinkles of uh, Wrestling Management, a wrestling manager coming up for the iOS. Uh, so we're going to talk to him about that. But this is your Wrestling Mayhem show. Uh, you, we do this thing every Tuesday night. Been doing it for a while here. 8.30 p.m. Eastern on live.sorgatronmedia.com. And I got a little bit of weirdness here. Hold on. Dot com. Dot com. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, nice cover up. And uh, what are we doing? Well, this is episode uh, 290, and uh, we're at uh, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. There it is for you video people. You can follow us on Twitter. We put a lot of fun stuff out there, at Mayhem Show over there. We love fan interaction. It's been the cornerstone of this show. It's been the cornerstone of this show for a good five and a half years. And we can do that through our email address at... Good times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. 412-206-WMS-0-9670 for the rest of you. Uh, drunk dialing is preferred. And uh, keep it short. Keep it succinct. Uh, so, you know, we're not spending all night reading like we do with some of these. Uh, yeah. we're, we're trying to keep oh, them down. Oh, diggity. But there's a lot of them, and we're going to no get through them tonight. Uh, and, of course, hey, go check us out. We are on Blip TV. We're on YouTube. We're on Mediafly. Uh, iTunes, please drop your comments. I might be willing to send you fr- some free stickers if you drop a comment on iTunes and uh, tell people if you're digging it. Um, oh, email, uh, like Stitcher. Hey, go check it. Stitcher is a really cool way to get this app and a lot of other stuff cool. like it. Uh, we have a link over there at WrestlingMayhemShow.com uh, for Stitcher or SorgatronMedia.com actually uh, for that. So get through there and it'll lead you right in there so you have that. But we also have, more importantly, the Wrestling Mayhem Show Gold app Right there, Wheels has got it uh, on his uh, big ass Galaxy Tab uh, thing going on there. Hey, so, Sword, you're kind of low. I'm low. Yes. 
I'm not low. Uh, you can also uh, check out... <laughs> Sork said bullshit. <laughs> said, Look, it's like, Riz says it's so nice he bought it twice. Um, and he'll buy it when he buys his new iPhone too, apparently. Um, <laughs> I already have it. I think <laughs> that's right. Also on the Android. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I... Um, but that's where you can find uh, exclusive content where we do some kind of off topic stuff here before the show, uh, including marriage proposals and uh, guys on a buffalo uh, this week. Um, but of course. <laughs> <laughs> and so you can get inside the inside jokes uh, for this show. It's dollar ninety nine on your iPhone store, your app, uh, what Android Marketplace, and the uh, Amazon App Store. Uh, hey, we also have stickers, guys. Uh, WS stickers, care of service Hello. on media. Send a self addressed stamped envelope one five three five Velasco Avenue, Pittsburgh, PA one five two one six, and we send you stickers. We send that, that's all there is to it. We send you stickers. Get the stickers. Stick them anywhere you want. That's right. That's right. Um, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the ladies on your it. penis. No, well, no. Yeah, you know, the, the the ladies <laughs> on your deflating boner. We have some. We, oh, <laughs> deflating boner. Deflating boner. But uh, but you know the ladies dig it. So you know, give us and send us pictures of you with your pit. With your uh, with your WS stickers, okay. Mm -hmm. Not on your yes. Let's get to the email. Oh, yes, because I I need to toss this over to somebody. So Chachi to read is going to read all three of his emails. Yes. Woohoo! Now starting with uh, <coughs> no, not you. Fuck oh, you. Fuck you. I'm starting. With <laughs> I'm starting with Sonic <laughs> Screwdrivers. Or um, now that he changed his name, I want to call him the other name. Yeah, I know. We're, we're down with it. Well, we probably shouldn't call him Screwjob on the other show. So it's what you did. Okay, <laughs> starting with Sonic Screwjobs because he made me laugh out loud. Literally, I laughed out loud. All right, Mayhem Gang. I just finished a rewatch of two eighty nine, mm -hmm. and I thought I would offer up a few ideas. Okay. I know Chachi dislikes email lists, you do. so I've arranged these ideas in a vertical assemblage. Without a numerical nomenclature differentiating them. Big words. <laughs> he's a college 60 points to Sonic Screwjob. <laughs> yeah, yes. yes. He, he, this is a college boy right here. <laughs> I think WWE could do some classic television remakes like Christian bringing back the People's Court. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> we did there, I saw it. Search, <laughs> search the hobo camps. Reunite the Varsity Club for a new and approved Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. Wow, Varsity Club? Wow. <laughs> People have Varsity uh -huh. Club? Oh, CM Kevin Punk, Sullivan. CM Punk could take over Dr. Phil. Mm -hmm. Kevin Nash helms the Dr. Oz show. Or they could work out a <laughs> cross... Get it? <laughs> uh, uh, it was... Uh. Dude, you can see his eyes. <laughs> 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 uh, Jimmy Vegas. Or... They could work out a crossover with TV Land for a remake of My Three Sons with Triple H, Shane McMahon, and Hornswoggle. Just a couple, <laughs> just a couple of ideas. Sonic Screwjob. And then the next one, <laughs> the next one in the list. would be, let's see. Is it Riz? Is it the Riz mail? It's in the notes. Voice of the Riz. Voice of the Riz. You want to read another one? Is it to the Riz? Hold on. Yeah. Uh... Is it to the Riz from the Riz? No. Your Crabs <laughs> Week sent an email. Okay. Uh, letting this, letting YC, us know. YC... YCW. YCW, Your Crabs Week. I forgot the, I forgot the uh, YC letter. Letting us know that he'll be sending us a DVD. Okay. For me to watch. For you to watch. Yes. So and I'm that if you it. don't enjoy it, then you're going to hell. It's right. in the Bible. Look it up. Yes. That, that's exactly <laughs> what it says. <laughs> Um, no, no, this is in reference to your, your contest last week. We yes. want to remind the people what was going on there. We will. We, we will? Uh, yes. Okay, we'll just... That's a teaser. Okay, yeah. gotcha. And then, oh, as always... WMS! <laughs> <laughs> Warn us says. next time. That's what it says. I did it away from the mic so I wouldn't blow your eardrums. I, 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 yeah, I was on the knob too. <laughs> yeah, okay. I was going to do... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do a would you rather, but I have something that I have to say. You know what I hate? I hate when people use the phrase, if TNA did this, when describing, that, describing something that WWE did that was highly questionable. 
Mad Mike did this two weeks ago, and again on the Hell in a Cell discussion thread on the Google+, and they both had to do with jump attacks by Miz and R-Truth. The difference between WWE and TNA is that you know when WWE does it, it's not random. You know that there is a reason for them to do something like that. When TNA does it, they just do it, and do it, and do it, <laughs> until A, they just stop, and nothing comes up from it. See Samoa Joe's ninja kidnappers. B, <clears throat> they turn the attacker's face. See ODB and Jacqueline. Or C, just continue to attack random people for no reason. See Samoa Joe in the Bound for Glory series. When WWE does it, you know that there's going to be a great feud, stable, whatever to come from it. See Nexus. So saying, if TNA did this, is a stupid argument, and until I hear otherwise, I consider that phrase dead. Until next time, if Mad Mike did this, you would have a better response, Riz. Yeah, see what you did there. Oh, wow. Mm, yeah. I get it. Look at that guy. Now, mm-hmm. now I, I did talk to Mad Mike after this. He read the email, and he was quite <laughs> upset. But I want to yeah, make it clear. Yeah, but he's not on the show anymore, so moving on. I want to <laughs> make it clear. <laughs> I want to make it clear, though, that I did not say the way that Mad Mike said it was wrong. Okay. He used it in the correct way. Because it was in the middle of a match, and it was pretty weird to see that happen. Mm. But but the one I was really focused on was in the uh, Google Plus uh, discussion board, <coughs> Sorry. which was really weird. So yeah, I just wanted yeah. to clear that up so that you don't think I'm <laughs> angry at my mic. Gimmick erectile dysfunction syndrome, a TNA plague. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that in the chat? Sonic, Sonic, Sonic Screwdriver. Yeah. No, Sonic Screwjob, sir. I know, I know. I well, know. speaking of Mad Sonic Mike, we do have a Mad Mike mail. We do have a Mad Mike. What do you want to be the voice? Doozy. You want to be the voice of Mad Mike there? I'll be the, the voice oh. of Mad Mike. Okay. You have to do it in a new New York accent. Fuck and that and angry. fuck know, you. Mad Mike, <laughs> Mad Mike Mail presents the spring even- 2012 lineup for WWE Network. Okay, I'm running through these. No one can talk during them because we will get really off topic. Greetings, Mayhemers. Okay, now I know I said last week that I was going to come up with some fake TV shows that the WWE Network could air. However, I somehow was able to stumble upon an actual list of shows that are in pre-production for the network. They were in no way made up. So I thumbed through the list of original programs and picked out the 20 must-see shows that I think the Mayhem Universe would get into. (sighs) Okay. Number 20, Late Night with Connor O'Brien with his co-host Tony Atlas and band leader Chris Jericho. Number 19, When Animals Attack featuring Pepper, Fifi, Matilda, and Damien. Number 18, Ghost Rider remake with R2 and his crime-solving invisible pal, Little Jimmy. Number 17, Big Bang Theory with Melina and Lita, rating TVMA. 16, A- <laughs> AP English Prep Study with the Great Khali. Number 15, Remember When? A Retrospective Show starring Howard Finkel. Number 14, Too Many Limes starring Seamus and Hornswoggle as wacky Irish roommates. Number 13, <laughs> the, the Real World, mid-card with cast members. John Morrison, AJ Heath Slater, Justin Gabriel, Zeke Jackson, Yoshi Tatsu, Tamina, and Gail Kim. Number 12, Extreme Makeover starring Zack Ryder, Cody Rhodes, and Maurice. Number 11, Project Entrance Way with Judges Goldust, Adrian Donis, and William Regal. Number 10, To Catch an Apex Predator. Number 9, <laughs> Sh- <laughs> Number nine <laughs> Shucky Ducky Quack Quack, a children's show featuring the voices of Booker <laughs> T and Queen Charmelle. <laughs> <laughs> Number 8, Dive Bars and Ice Cream Bars starring CM Punk and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Number 7, Daily Church Services, hosted by Reverend Devon, Ted DiBiase, and Shawn Michaels, guest starring God. Number six, <laughs> bloopers, <laughs> bleeps, and gobbly googers. Number five, cops from Cobb County, Georgia. Number four, <laughs> excuse me, a sitcom starring Vicky and Dolph with their wacky neighbor, Kerwin White. 
Number three, <laughs> Unsolved Mysteries, hosted by the Raw General Manager. First episode, GTB. Number two, OMG BBQ with JR and Kane. And number one, <laughs> Law and Order Parts Unknown, featuring David Otunga, attorney at Raw. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I need to start uh, using that. I gotta say that last, that's really good shit. I really wow. like that last one. That and nice. here's a couple quick rapid fire that, that thoughts. That cracks on the paper. me up at work. Here's a quick couple rapid fire thoughts on the pay per view. Since I know Sword probably only read like eight of these, no, that's a lie. I read ah. all of them. R Truth punching the cameraman is awesome. I love the retrofitted ice. No, it title. wasn't. <laughs> the finish to the actual main event was genius. No Ryder Ziggler match? Really? God help me. I'm actually been enjoying Kelly Kelly for something other than her tits. That's it for me, guys. Her Have ass. a great show. I'll try to listen to some of it while at work. White Alchemist ending transmission. P.S. All these shows were totally made up by me, except Shucky Ducky Quack Quack. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was the man right wow. now. Uh, there were, uh, we I think they were now. wagering in the chat <laughs> room if you were going to... do list anymore. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, they were wagering in the chat room if you were going to pass out before the end of that. Oh, uh, a little might. bit. So, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. They um, were. They were. Yeah. Also, they said that you sound like a New Jersey boy. Yeah, Mad Mike said that your balls need to drop before you can sound <laughs> like him. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Bam. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, your what? balls? <laughs> your balls <laughs> aren't going to drop? No, never <laughs> sounding like him. Which means your balls aren't going to drop ever. Right. That's what he said. <laughs> now. <laughs> Welcome Dear back, Kelly. Russell fan. Uh, <laughs> Dear Kelly writes in an email. Does anyone else want that one while I... Uh, no, actually, I wanted to uh, toss over to Mr. LB. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's different... It's time for the black oh, Hold on, hold on. I got to get it set up still. Where's he at? There he is. Oh, he didn't send us music <laughs> this right week. Here. He didn't, you know, he didn't send us music this week. So it's all you, use man. Use the other music. Use, use any, yeah. Bum, from before. bum, bum, no. bum. Not that. <laughs> Not different music. No, Not what just happened. Sorry. I, I have a new title for the Wolf's emails. You do? Yes. I, I don't know. It's the weekly blackmail. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right, just do Wait, it. Just blackmail one. Sir, uh, rock it acapella this week, please, sir. All right, all right. The title of this week's uh, email is uh, Boot of Confidence, My Ass. <laughs> <clears throat> what the fuck is good in the hood wrestling mayhem show shouts out to my homies lb mad mike sorg wrestle twerp the rizza hot wheels and chachi sometime last week i started reviewing past episodes i'm almost done solving the conspiracy within the wms nation so far the only one safe from persecution is riz lunchbox and chachi Oh, Everyone sweet. else, make sure your doors and windows are locked. And if you don't like it, fuck what you say. Okay. Hell in the Cell was pretty good, but the uptight crowd takes a few matches to finally get into the show. The Sin Cara match would have been better if the Caras were better at aerial moves. Thanks a lot, Mysterio and AJ Styles. You two spoiled the viewers with your innovative springboards, springboards so much that simple body splashes are no longer acceptable. Which is why I didn't really like the Cara versus Cara match. The rest of the pay-per-view was good. Eve made my dick tingle. Henry won the main event. Was four stars. The chaotic ending to the pay-per-view was the best send-off for a pay-per-view. Raw, on the other hand, was subpar. Triple H gets called out. Triple H, lis Triple H listens to laryngitis. Triple H calls out the roster with the exception of the top guys. What the fuck? Triple H gets dissed by the roster and then the show ends. I may be a little biased here, but fuck what you say, WWE superstars. Where the fuck was this question mark voter confidence when Austin got ran over by a car in the parking lot? That's Where the right. fuck was this voter confidence when Steve Blackman ran down Ken Shamrock? Yeah. Or when Vince brought in the NWO? <laughs> yeah. During the, yeah. During entire McMahon Helmsley era Nexus, Actually, no, Ministry no, no. of Darkness The Power Trip, the DX Army After watching Raw, I realized the entire WWE roster is filled with a bunch of pussies And by the way, <laughs> who the fuck cares what the divas think? There's a reason why you're not giving TV time because no one cares for you 
How about you divas go have a vote of confidence in the goddamn kitchen? <laughs> uh, the thoughts and Green expressions by Shane Amazing is not uh, 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 reflective of the rest of Mayhem with, show. Wait, wait, wait. With the exception of the kitchen comment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's a little bit more. Here. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were done. <laughs> now that I'm done, I'd like to end this rant with a few words to TNA. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> and if you don't like it, fuck what you say. Fuck nigga. what you say. And it, he specifies, you better say it, LB. So there you go. Man, that was tremendous. That was uh, tremendous. That was uh, you know, this is one of the better emails that we get every week. Now, I got I got a little bit to read out of uh, uh, Pierre K., I really, I just want to read this one part by itself because okay. it's kind of cool. Go for it. I have to explain the uh, Sin Cara mirror match. It would be the Blue Ranger against the Black Ranger. With the Blue Ranger winning, a uh, Facebook friend of mine compared that match to the Power Rangers. So other than those two, Kelly Kelly would be the Pink Ranger. The Yellow Ranger would be Gail Kim had she not been released or uh, expiring her contract. The Red Ranger would be Airborne instead of Super Cena. Rita Repulsa would be Vicky Guerrero. Zordon would be the anonymous Raj EM. Uh, Alpha <laughs> 5 would be Hornswoggle. The White Ranger would be Seamus. The Green Ranger would be A-Rai. Uh, Goldar would be Booker T based on voice alone. And to top it off, Balkan <laughs> Skull played by Santino and Vladimir Kozlov. Uh, had he not been released, of course. And that would be the remake WWE style. Nice. Of the Power Rangers. I yes. dig that. I dig that. Oh, he's also, I, I also want to see, he is also very excited. Even though that, that sort of race is with the Gail Kim thing. Well, wasn't Power Rangers well, in general? Yeah. Yes. Come on. Power I mean, Rangers in general was Power racist. Rangers racist were racist shit. Racist. Um, also, uh, he, uh, uh, finally, there's a Brodus Clay pro oh my God. coming in the Super <laughs> Show by way of Superstars of Wrestling, where he did squash stuff. Can't wait to wait to see that. So, holy crap! Hey, Sorg, we have a holy new email. crap. What, what Lunchbox needs to read the new email. We got what? It, <laughs> holy shit! What happened? <laughs> there's an email in the inbox. Wild card, bitches! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right, for those who don't know, we have not gotten one of these for a while. Email. There's an old, old, old time email or uh, Juggalo Jamie joined us once in again. The and, Tell uh, me he's in the goddamn chat room. This uh, we, we wait, 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 wait. So we're gonna have Wolf Mail and a Juggalo Jamie man. Shut up, it's Juggalo. Your Jamie. mind's gonna explode Juggalo on this one, guys. Uh, so uh, <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, All right, I'll be. LB, put it to All it. Right. Put it to it. All right. Keep calm. Let's do this. Keep calm. Keep calm and carry on. <sighs> it is Juggalo Jamie, the title wild card, bitches. Hello, Lunchbox. <laughs> it's been. <laughs> wow. It's been a while this I lasted emailed. Maybe two or three years <laughs> for all I know. <laughs> well, I haven't watched wrestling in months. Last time I watched TNA, there was no six-sided fun ring, but a four-sided piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, old man Rivers had to kill the fun in tan and kill it. <laughs> Fuck WWE and where and it's whatever going on there. I'm awesome, and so are boobs. Fuck small <laughs> boobs. <laughs> I went to Toronto in July, I think, and didn't bother telling my parents that I was going because I'm a wild card, bitches. <laughs> I'm so right more badass oh and more fun that I didn't tell them. I also got... I also got two jobs in one week, T.O., and didn't do anything to get them. I love drunken adventures. I also got kicked out of the same bar three times for drunking a lot in the same month. <laughs> I guess the bartender was jealous of my skills and whatnot. 
<laughs> Next time, my email is going to be in 2015, <laughs> for all I know. And they better have fucking power laces and tying shoes are impossible, right, guys? <laughs> you have to work at Nazia to do shit like that. <laughs> Nazia. And, and it just ends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, like, crying right now. Best email segment ever. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I am awesome and so are boobs. Fuck <laughs> small boobs. <laughs> small boobs. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, hey, just end, I love you. It's a, just end the show now uh, on a high note. Yeah. Um, uh, but we do have some indie news. Um, <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Russell fan, how are you going to follow that up? I don't know. Minute? Oh, my God. I got to stop crying. He can't. He can't. No, <laughs> no very much. So, no. Shimmer. <laughs> their, uh, so shimmer? That, that's what you so read. We've got you. Shimmer. We have He's... a wolf male and a juggalo Jamie male. And you're hey, going to lead like with Jungle, Shimmer. Jungle I mean, Jamie says, I'm awesome and so are boobs. So I'm going to talk about boobs, okay? Uh, Shimmer, yeah, yeah. this past weekend, uh, they um, they had their tapings um, uh, in Berwyn, Illinois, uh, right outside of Chicago. We have new champions, uh, new tag team champions in uh, Ayako Hamada, uh, formerly Hamada from TNA, and Ayumi Kurihara. They are the new Shimmer tag team champions, defeating Daisy Hayes and Tomoka Nakagawa. <laughs> I can't even continue. Oh my god! And um, oh my god. the main event of the final show, uh, we have a new Shimmer champion in cheerleader Melissa, who uh, defeated Madison Eagles to uh, pick up the Shimmer championship. Congratulations to her! Also, if you've been watching uh, Ring of Honor TV um, this past week, uh, Jay Lethal, former TNA star, is the new TNA television champion. After picking up a win over El Generico on the uh, TV show um, in overtime, uh, over the uh, time limit. So congratulations to Jay Lethal as well. Great, man. Um, if you want more uh, news on that, go to ROHwrestling.com. Go check them out. Um, next, I'm going to um, go to the uh, AON report for this week from one uh, Bobby F. J. Town. Uh, sort of go through that. Um, the night started with Cass Edison in the ring. He called former general manager Samantha Sanders Esquire That's, uh, into the friend ring. Friend of the show, to, Cass Edison. Uh, friend of the show, Cass Edison. Yes, uh, to announce the new general manager of AON. She thought she was going to be announced as the GM. However, Cass had other intentions and named Israel Sharif Pakor as the new general manager of AON. AON debuted a new rundown set, which featured a new steel table with the AON logo on it. Uh, Eric Hassel defeated Black Lightning, and now he demands a title shot at the next event. Uh, Zach Rain and Shane Mouse will finally get a tag team title shot at ISP and Psycho Fusion at the next event. And exclusive footage of Manchild in action against Project 13 from October 1st. I'm assuming that's the YouTube link he has pro provided, and that is the AON report. Um, thank you, Bobby of Town, for sending in. And the final note I want to make... Um, this past Saturday, I went to an indie show that I do want to talk about, um, kind of support. Uh, hopefully, we'll gain some new friends over there at um, River City Wrestling, um, rivercitywrestling.net. Um, go check them out. Friend of the show, Ray Rowe, um, is their current uh, world champion, which definitely piqued my interest, um, obviously, in the company. Um, they had their event uh, this past Saturday, uh, Battle Lines 5, which I attended. So really, really great event. Um, very professional company, I will say the least. They have, they have a real. They know how to put on a show. They put on a really great event. Um, I love the the it, the, um, the event was held at a um, at the uh, Good Shepherd Lutheran Church um, at the uh, activity center. So it's sort of like a gymnasium setup. Mm -hmm. But um, they did real. Uh, re they did really good with you know the guardrails. The ring the ring looks great. They even had a Titan Tron. Oh. Which was actually really nice because then it, it got me, you know, as a new fan to sort of learn everyone's names, which was nice. Mm -hmm. uh, as I see Sword pulled up there, their uh, RCW uh, internet show that they hold, um, so, which is the inter another interesting point I want to make about the company. They don't actually sell DVDs, which, really? I, which um, you know, a lot of companies do that. And I think 
the RCW sort of leans more towards it's about the live shows and they do their internet show for now, those that um, now, don't Fed, attend the live shows. Is, isn't this the Fed that uh, that we was, we spoke about uh, several months ago where um, um, Chiller Melissa... Uh, yeah, uh, Alyssa Flash was a uh, world champion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, yeah, uh, she actually wasn't uh, at the past shows because I believe at the last show she uh, lost the match that uh, she had to be suspended for three months. Mm-hmm. I think was the stipulation. That, so that's why she was in at the past show. Um, but definitely great event. Um, um, they do a good mix of uh, w- when we look at like what a good indie company has. We have you know the the local stars and the local stars were actually really impressive. I was really surprised by the guys that were there. Combined, uh, like for example, this uh, past show I went to uh, TNA star one half of the tag team champions Hernandez. Um, was the big uh, special guest, kind of starting a so, uh, sort of semi feud with Ray Rowe, um, which um, could develop into something interesting. For the next show, actually, that's going to be um, November 5th, they're bringing in former WCW manager of the Macho Man Randy Savage, uh, Gorgeous George. Mm-hmm. So um, they, they do a good job, I think, of bringing in, you know, some of the bigger name stars, mixing them in with their local stars. Um, uh, I also love the. Um, I paid a. Uh, I paid a uh, twenty five dollars for my ticket, but with that twenty five dollars, I got a front row seat, um, free uh, poster, free um, free hot dog, free soda, and you also get to go to the back to meet some of the wrestlers during intermission. Oh wow! Which That's is a, yeah, definitely a very impressive deal. Yes, Bobby, the one with the fake boobs, um, <laughs> not the one with the penis. Not the one that's dead. Not the one that's dead. <laughs> um, but very, uh, definitely very impressive show. Like I said, they don't sell DVDs. It's basically a lot of their internet show. Um, and f- it's mainly for the live crowd. I think the one uh, the, the one thing I want to mention about the show, and I think what uh, Sorry's playing right now, um, one of my favorites from the event the whole night was um, a man, um, yes, a man uh, by the name of Andromeda. Who is, for those that don't know, an exotic co wrestler. For those that don't know what exotic co wrestling is, uh, the uh, luchador style that's um, usually a cross dressing uh, style. Um, very entertaining. Very. Yeah, um, so this, this is a thing. This is this yes. this whole kind of cross gender cross dressing thing is like a style of wrestling somewhere. That it doing. is in, in, mainly in Mexico, definitely. Okay. But um, she is their uh, RCW International Champion currently. Uh, very entertaining, I will say the least. Um, I got to meet her actually backstage. She was one of the ones. I keep saying she. He was the one that one of the ones I met backstage. <laughs> he's very he's very entertaining. The cave, right? Very yeah, hilarious. Yeah. Had a great match. Um, it's definitely great stuff. Another thing I w- uh, want to note is that it is an intergender company. We mentioned that um, Alyssa Flash was their uh, champion at one point. Mm-hmm. Um, they have a lot of female wrestlers that do go at it with. I think there was two intergender matches at the show I went to, and I do, the women can definitely go at it with the men just as well as the men do. You know, they do a great job of entertaining the fans. <laughs> <laughs> um, a little bit of decorum. Um, definitely great stuff. They had a. <laughs> this guy called out. A little bit of decorum on the wrestling mayhem show. Uh, yes, he did. What do I expect? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but a lot of a lot of interesting gimmicks uh, also from this company. Um, they have a. They, I saw it. there was new tag team champions that were crowned at the event I went to, of uh, Jingo Wallaby, who plays a crocodile Dundee <laughs> sort of character. Um, wow. And his tag team him. partner, as you see there, Honky Kong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. he, that's just like uh, like the uh, old end. Wait, wait, which one? Donkey Kong. He has the tie. He has the uh, you know the whole getup. Um, he loves bananas. And <laughs> <laughs> like people use bananas in matches, um, but they were actually won the tag title. They actually won the tag titles this past weekend over uh, the Gulf Coast Connection, who's kind of like the main heel uh, group in the company, um, who were actually really impressive. Um, definitely. Um, but yeah, definitely go check them out at RCW wrestling. This if you are great. in the Texas area, definitely go check them out. It is a fun, you will have a fun time at the show. <laughs> no, it was a, an amazing you're, you're, show. You're uh, going to have a fun time. If you hang out on their YouTube channel from the looks at things. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this it's is kind like, of pretty it's tremendous. Great stuff, but 
being there live is absolutely amazing. Um, their owner, Brandon, uh, whose name is Brandon Oliver, he did an amazing job of uh, booking. I believe this company has been around for quite a while. I think since like yeah. 03 maybe, um, if I remember. Uh, but yeah, if you're in the Texas area, go check them out. RiverCityWrestling.net. Um, if you, uh, the next event will be November 5th at, uh, 8 PM at the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. Um, go check them out, get tickets at rcwwrestling.com. Um, check them out, support them and support indie wrestling. Speaking of indie wrestling, um, if you turned in, tuned in last week, we have a new, um, I guess you could call it a contest. It's a contest. Yeah. It's an impressed Chachi contest. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't like indie wrestling because of the production value. So what I've challenged you to do is send me links or videos or anything of indie wrestling that you think I will enjoy. And the best one that I enjoy, or the one that I enjoy the most, gets their pick of crappy DVDs. (laughs) Crappy? (laughs) And not bad DVDs. No, and that's no way to sell a contest. <laughs> it is. Well, you, for those... Uh, the, you what, send me what bad wrestling, DVDs? I no, send you no. bad wrestling. What? Oh, oh, well, for those on the oh, audio, what oh. are these DVDs? Um, one is uh, TNA Slammiversary. 2005? Is, yeah. No, 2006. Okay. Um, the main event is Christian, Sting, <coughs> Jeff Jarrett, Abyss, and The Truth. And the other one is... The Triumph and Tragedy of World Class Championship Wrestling Two Disc Set. Featuring the Von Erics and, yes. and everything that happened there. Yeah. So. It's yeah. history. <laughs> yes, it is history, Chachi. So. Yes. Hey guys, we got our guest on the line. Dan Hinkle joins us. He's the COO with Wrestling Manager, the uh, the uh, iOS uh, game coming out very soon. And he joins us from Scotland, reaching overseas once again. How are you doing tonight, Dan? Ah, uh, not bad. A little tired. It's two o'clock nearly over here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that. Yeah, I, I didn't realize the time difference when we set this up. So <laughs> hey, I apologize for that. Uh, I, I promise we'll get you. We'll get your wearing and going here. Uh, so yeah, I came across. I, I think. I think. I, I we we cross paths on Google Plus or something like that. Uh, I came across Wrestling Manager, and, and and you know, I'm always interested in wrestling games on my iPhone. Uh, you know, just because it's where I play my games. Uh, can you tell us what is Wrestling Manager uh, for the people that haven't checked, uh, seen the site yet? Yeah, sure thing. So, so it's basically your your typical sports management game kind of thing, um, except we, we've kind of done it with wrestling. And what we wanted to do was we, we looked at sort of the iPhone games market and didn't really find any decent wrestling games on there. I mean, they've got some kind of angry birds with wrestling going on. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that just wasn't quite what, what I wanted as a wrestling fan. So we said, well, the iPhone's really good for management games. And, you know, I haven't really played a good management game in years, a wrestling management game anyway. So we was like, right, let's, let's do this. Um, and it's kind of, I don't know if you guys have played anything like FIFA's Ultimate Team or if Madden's got an Ultimate Team kind of thing that you guys are into. Yeah, there it's, is there is a... Uh, we, we do have like a, a NFL coach kind of game. Oh, yeah. Um, well, it's, it's kind of along them kind of lines, I would imagine. Um, mm-hmm. So basically you get sort of packs of like trading cards and things like that. And, uh, you know, you, you've got to increase your roster and you, you start off as a a backyard wrestling organization. And the idea is that you're going to have really played a good management game. Sorry about that. Uh, no worries. So, yeah, so you start as a backyard wrestling company, work your way up through the ranks and, you know, draw in bigger crowds and recruit more staff kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, get better wrestlers, improve your wrestlers. And it's just, it's all about you signing sort of network deals with with, with companies and getting TV shows and ratings and things like that. So I'm, I'm hoping it's something that wrestling fans are going to love. Because, awesome. I mean, I do. So <laughs> awesome. fingers crossed. Awesome. Now, I noticed some similar similarities with some of these characters. Don't you have a Rob Van Dam character in this game? 
and uh, not Rob Van Dam. No, um, we have a a, a Rod <laughs> Van Dam. Okay, <laughs> um, which he looks surprisingly like Jean Claude Van Dam. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. of course, of course. <laughs> Uh, it definitely looks like there's a lot of homages to uh, the, the archetypes we're, we're familiar with with uh, with wrestling. Um, so, uh, and you are developing this for the iOS platform? Yeah, for the iOS um, at the minute, and we're hoping to maybe move it across to Android over the coming months after we after we get out the door. Excellent. Uh, we actually also do a tech show on this network, Awesome Cast. So, uh, you know, we we like you know find out how is the development for something like that. How how has that been? Uh, you, you mentioned uh, in the pre-interview, you're, you're a pretty small company. I mean, is it is it easy? Is the barrier uh, uh, kind of easy to get into iPhone? And why the iPhone? Well, I mean, I, I picked the iPhone because it, it's you know it's a fantastic device. It's got so many different games on it. But the, like I said, there's, there's just no good wrestling games on it, or at least none that I've found. Mm -hmm. the um the recent tna game is probably the best one out there and it's it's just not designed uh, i don't know if, if i think if i'm going to play an actual wrestling game where i'm wrestling i'm probably going to want to do it on the ps3 or something mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but if i'm if i'm gonna you know sit down with a device and play a, a wrestling game and it's a it's a phone then then management just seems to fit so i kind of the you know the device picked it for it uh, and at the time i don't think android was quite as prevalent as what it is now because um, I mean, we 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 started. I started designing this probably about two years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and, and I don't think Android was even <laughs> was it even a twinkle at that point. You know, uh, so it, it was a twinkle. It was let's, a it was a twinkle. Chachi had the first Android yeah, let's, phone. Let's, actually, let's, let's not discount it. It was a twinkle, but yeah, you're right. It wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't as prevalent. I don't even. How is uh? Well, well today, you know, I'm, I'm curious. This too. How how are Android devices versus iPhones in, in your country? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's it's about even. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think Android's actually going to take over iPhone if it hasn't already. Um, there just seems to be that many choices out there, and uh, you know the, the the quicker it getting the new technology into Android phones, obviously. Mm -hmm. so, but the iPhone's still pretty cool, and then the release today of the new sort of iPhone, I think that's probably going to spare a few sales, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, what do you think of that? We uh, just did a show where we're kind of managing, uh, it seemed like there was a lot of lashback that they, it wasn't a five, it wasn't this and the other thing. What, what did you think of it overall? I know the, the processor looks like it's going to uh, uh, make for some pretty uh, high-end games. Yeah, I mean, it's one of them things where a company like Apple, there's a lot of pressure on them to keep refreshing things every single year. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that we see like tons of Android phones out there, but that's because there's tons of manufacturers out there, and there's only really Apple doing the iPhone, obviously. Yeah. yeah. So they can't they can't have a revolutionary device every year, mm -hmm. but I don't think it's too bad. Awesome, awesome. So, uh, is there anything anything special? Like, uh, you know, what what what's the big thing in this game? You guys are uh, people are going to find that they're not going to find in like I remember there was a TNA kind of RPG game uh, that I was playing a couple years ago. You know, and uh, you know, obviously we mentioned it's not a pure, you know, physical wrestling game. Uh, what's the big thing you think fans are going to really get a kick out of uh, with 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 doing a wrestling game in this way? It's just kind of the whole path, you know. I mean, you mm -hmm. you're in control of the the whole promotion. You get to to sign the wrestlers that you want, make the matches you want, do storylines the way you want them to do. Um, and we've got like we've got an auction feature in there, which is pretty kick ass. And there's just some there's some nice little touches, which I just think. I mean, if you look at every sport out there, there's always like a a, a management game that goes with it, and they're always. People seem to love them and get really addicted to them. But wrestling's only really got a couple, um, and they, it was made on the PC many years ago, and they've kind of been iterated. And mm. I actually heard that they're even still in production. So this is kind of our way of, of, of doing it for the, the sort of hardcore wrestling fans because they, they already get decent enough coverage out of games like SmackDown. So. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Hey, it's nice to see something a little outside the box. Now. Is this something, if it takes off, could you see uh, a, a game like this, maybe if your approach be branded with somebody like a, a Ring of Honor or I, I know White, well, you have one PW over there or maybe Chikara or something? I, we'd, we'd love to do that kind of mm -hmm. thing. Um, I think the problem is with, with a game like this, you'd want to do it on the full scale with every company out there. And yeah. there's a lot of politics in wrestling that would would not make that happen. So we actually did um, fly out to Atlanta for WrestleMania, and we met with the guys at Ring of Honor. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and they, you know, great guys. Um, and they had, you know, they saw the artwork and they, they liked it, but I just don't think at the time there was, I mean, they obviously had the Sinclair group thing going on, mm-hmm. which we didn't know about at the time, but, um, we would have loved to have worked with them and, and got them in it. And we was going to try and get sort of all of the, you know, the, the others out there involved, but it's just a really, it's a, it's a minefield. I mean, some guys work for different wrestling companies. Mm-hmm. And they're a face in one company and a heel in the other. So, so which version gets into the game? And you know, believe it or not, we, we've had a few promoters say, "Look, we, we'd love to do this with you, but that guy's got to be a face, or that guy's got to be a heel." And then the other company said, "No, no, he's got to be a face," or you know, <laughs> and it's and it's you just can't. I don't know, especially for a new company, I suppose. A lot of pressure. Can't can't make everybody happy at that point. Um, Well, you have to think that wrestling is a hard industry to make people happy in anyhow. Yeah. yeah. And so it it is so so, uh, uh, fractured with all the indies out there, you know. I mean, I guess unless you're working directly with WWE, I mean, that's the only kind of overreaching umbrella that's out there right now. Yeah, I mean, and I I think THQ have got some crazy big exclusive rights there so oh, we'd, yeah. we'd never get lucky with oh, them yeah. because we're a oh, new yeah. company but can you imagine doing this kind of game with um with like the whole dvd library kind of oh geez. roster that that the wwe's got you know back to the awa days and all the rest of the things that they've got there fantastic that, fantastic. that would be quite amazing mm-hmm. i mean honestly i i have an android device but i i use an ipad every week for the show mm-hmm. so i, I i'm kind of looking forward to it mm-hmm. I, I think this is the type of game that I would like to sit down and play. Definitely, definitely. I mean, if, if the roster kind of things, you know, I, I'm sure there's a few people out there that just won't play a game that's not licensed. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what we've done is we, we've we've built in a feature which allows you to pretty much drag and drop um, a bunch of images into a folder and then sync your iTunes to it, and then that's it. All of the um, all of the characters are kind of updated, and as long as you you know, you go through and name them and mm-hmm. things like that. It's a, fa- a fairly quick process, and it sooner enough it allows you to uh, to play with all the people that you like, basically. Uh, so it's, it's kind of like your own creator wrestler for for your style of game. Yeah, yeah, nice. um, and we've tried to make it as, as seamless as possible because I mean, we've already seen uh, like e- even though the game's not out yet, and the, you know, it's it's a few weeks away, but we've already seen people collecting images for it, so that when the game does come out, they can. You know, they can just do that folder swap and it's literally a three click process and that's it. They've got all of the so, license in there. But so I mean, you already have not, this. That, not that we advocate that. No, of no, course. no, of course. That, of, that course. Illegal gray area. <laughs> of course, Mr. McMahon. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's fantastic. You already have kind of that underground community. And, and really where I see this kind of hidden is there's, a, there's definitely that kind of fancy booking community out there amongst chat rooms and everything or uh, our message boards. I really see this, this is kind of hidden with that kind of group. Yeah, sure thing. I mean, like the e-feds and things like that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I just think a lot of people, uh, it appeal to a lot of the hardcore wrestling fans. And that's, yeah, well, they kind of get left behind a lot. So you see like an arcade wrestling game come out every year and that doesn't really do it for them. And mm-hmm. I don't know. I just, I just, I'm hoping that it ticks their boxes. And I mean, I'm, I'm a pretty huge wrestling fan and it's, you know, I, I can't wait for the game, but obviously people are different, so. Excellent. Now I know uh, you, you say it's coming soon. I, I know. I know the I, iPhone store is a little weird. They won't exactly give you a release date when you send it for approval. Uh, do you guys have a time frame you're looking at? You're hoping it's out in. Uh, if if I give away anything like that, my uh, my team will shoot me when I get okay. back to the office okay. tomorrow. <laughs> but, but we're basically um, we're, we're hoping to get out before the SmackDown game. Um, so you can work that out for yourself. I think that's due <laughs> out at the end of November. Excellent, um, excellent. Fingers crossed. Anyway, don't shoot me if uh, <laughs> if we're a bit late. We are a small team, so there's there's a lot of pressure there. Thanks. So where can people find out information about you and how that progress is going? That you are allowed to not get shot and show up. <laughs> Wrestlingmanagement.com. Fantastic. Um, come on over. We've we've got concept art on there. Um, we've got mm-hmm. you know forums if people want to hang out and suggest some ideas. We've actually had quite a lot of emails and you know there's there's a lot of really good fans out there that have that have sent in like hey look how about you do it like this or mm-hmm. how about you do it like that and then we've even got guys that are you know reaching out to to different companies trying to get us coverage which I just yeah. think is yeah. amazing you know you, you can, that's that's one of the great things about doing a wrestling game the fan base is so 
into it that it's it's just you know it's a it's a joy when you open your email and you see like 10 guys saying to you hey i've done this and i'm trying to get your coverage on you know ign or something like that i just think that's tremendous. fantastic tremendous tremendous well uh, thank you dan for joining us uh please shoot us an email as soon as that thing goes live we'll check it out we'll review it on the show we'll let the people know about it on our end sure thing thanks a lot for having me on guys i uh, uh, really appreciate it all right thanks a lot and get some sleep <laughs> <laughs> cheers take care all right thanks all right um out of curiosity uh, are you married what no unfortunately uh will, will you will you marry me one day the guy on the buffalo was roaming around in a pasture buffaloes was minding they bees but also that does sound really painful Hey folks, it's the Wrestle Fan here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. It's time for a little segment that we like to call Remember When. So, uh, for those that are fans of wrestling, I mean, of course you're fans of wrestling, you're listening to the Wrestling Mayhem Show, uh, you know that wrestlers are crazy. You know, they do some crazy stuff. They, you know, kind of kind of flirt with the law. And I... Th- We've mentioned this before on the Mayhem show, and I think we've mentioned it a couple times before. Of one of the times where we remember people flirting with the law was back in 2006. Now, if you remember 2006 in the WWE, it was a big year because they were bringing in ECW. And the leader of sorts for this ECW movement was a man by the name of Rob Van Dam. Now, you see, Rob Van Dam. He was on a roll. He had beaten John Cena at the uh, ECW pay-per-view, One Night Stand, beat him for the WWE title, and then they crowned him ECW champion. He was a double champion holding two belts, and he was on a roll until he got pulled over by the cops with Sabu um, because I guess he didn't he have marijuana or something in his yep. trunk or something like that? Yep, they had marijuana. They had marijuana, so... What did WWE do? He says, fuck that. Uh, you're going to go on Raw, and you're going to lose the belt to John Cena, and then you're going to go to ECW the next night and lose your other belt to the big show. <laughs> now, I say this because... Wait, one of those. I uh, mentioned this because we're sort of in a period right now where... And, and, and we mentioned, you know, people like Matt Hardy and Kurt Angle, but it's not just them, and it's not just TNA. Just a variety of people... In wrestling, for some reason, it's DWI season in wrestling. <laughs> because we had Hardy, we had um, Kurt Angle, we even have Har- we even had Hardy's girlfriend. The latest one was a uh, Jimmy Uso, one of the Usos, who um, was actually. They, I mean, the Usos were starting to get a push, you know, as being one of the only tag teams, you know, in WWE besides Air Boom. And now it's kind of been held back, I think, in a way because of that. Um, we had Alex Riley was another recent uh, DUI charge. Um, and it's just coming to a point where it's getting, for me, it's getting kind of ridiculous. Because it's just one after another. People who work for WWE, TNA, people who aren't even involved in the companies anymore that are just, you know, just, and it's, and it's always DUI. Or DWI. It's always one of the two. And my question to the fans is, how do we stop this? How do we stop the stupidity of wrestlers getting pulled over for DUI and looking like a bunch of idiots? I think when they roll into town, we should offer to give them rides to the airport. Sonic At- Screwjob says it's the gas prices. What? <laughs> okay, then. O- okay. All right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he looks pretty mad about the about, about the gas prices. I didn't know about Alex Riley in the in the Usos there, Russell fan. Well, Alex Riley was a while back, remember? Really? Okay. He they didn't. Um, well, because I remember it because he came out on a uh, Raw like when he was still with the Miz and sort of like made fun of the whole thing. Yeah, CM so, like, Punk made fun of him. I and CM that. Punk made fun of him too. For he it. says he he looks like he can party. Yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but. Um, it's it's been a very interesting time for just that kind of thing. I don't know. It's just 
one after another. I think another one was Daphne. Daphne was a really shocking one. She was I think, arrested for DUI. Um, it's I don't know what the deal is, and it's like I'm and like I said, it's not just a specific company. We kind of mentioned the ones from TNA, but you know, it's, it's not just it's all over the place. It's not just them, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, what you kind of see, uh, as opposed to TNA, you kind of see the WWE guys kind of get thrown on the back burner whenever you hear that come up in the news. Yeah. So, I mean, and that was the like they, I they, mentioned they, the they, Rob Van Dam thing because that was the only, the last time that I remember that that happened and someone really got punished. Well, that for was it. that was different though because that was with weed. You know, these guys were DUIs. It's you know, it's alcohol. It's a lesser uh, offense, and that doesn't hurt their PR quite as bad as well, as well, drugs. DUI is just under the influ- influence. It's not just alcohol it's mm-hmm. yeah it, no, it, oh and that's true <coughs> that's been a couple where it's not alcohol it's a variety of different things but mm-hmm. <laughs> so um yeah i don't know anybody else have any answers for that uh you mean what what can we do are we gonna start a grassroots mo- movement to uh help the wrestlers not be stupid i have no idea but i just think i have something we'll something do, we'll do a psa for the wrestlers from us. No, it's... Um, uh, it, Go ahead, LB. We'll, or, we'll start an organization judge. called FOD. FOD? FOD? Yes. Fans Against Wrestlers on Drugs. That would be FADS. No, F-A-W-D. FOD. Oh, FOD. That is FOD. LB? Hmm. Uh, I mean, it's cliche to say it, but... <laughs> I mean, they're all they're products of their environment, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Either yeah. they're hanging out, they're traveling constantly. It's a, you know, adrenaline, testosterone filled business. It's going to happen. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I, and and it's definitely you don't hear about this. Something like this happened to, to worse degrees years ago. It's gotten better. Uh, Russell fan against drunk driving. Yeah. <laughs> w F A D D. Wad. 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 I can't wait to get the uh, license split. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. It, it's an interesting problem, though. Uh, what about you, Wills? I was just sitting there thinking. Um, the thought of... I mean, if you remember, sort of many times we've all left IWC and gone to, like, maybe the carriage in or anything like that. You see these guys. The only thing they want to do is unwind, and some of them, they put them away, so... Yeah. Yeah, I, I've seen some people not even getting out of the venue uh, seeing some of these guys hammered, you know. I mean, I, I think there's some Four Locos floating around a few of those shows uh, pretty bad. Um, but yeah, yeah, completely. I mean, it's, it's a part of the culture, you know, and it starts there in the, in the, in the Indies. You know, these guys are, are partiers. It's kind of, I think that's, I, yeah, I think that's the kind of people that get attracted to doing this kind of thing. Are, are the right. it's, the, it's the adrenaline ad, adrenaline mm-hmm. rush of doing something like that, mm-hmm. and it's and when you get hurt, you go on the influence of painkillers, and you try to numb the pain as much as you can. Mm-hmm. So people go towards alcohol and drugs to numb it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I mean, the best way I think if the fans wanted to help, and I mean, I'm not guilty of this, or maybe somebody might be. A fan sees a guy, one of the guys in the bar or the girls in the bar. Don't encourage and buy him a drink. Say, hey, we want to see you again next Monday. Maybe you ought to cut it back or something. Maybe that might help. <laughs> yeah, especially especially when you have, like, you know, when people see this happens and they're like, you know, we need to stop having this. But nobody does it, you know. Nobody's really pushing for, for people to re- be responsible, you know, other than the WWE drug program, you know. And even that, how much of that is just looks. Hey, they're trying. Yeah, they're trying. I mean, Matt Hardy's, in, sp- Matt Hardy's in sponsored, you know, rehab because of, I think it's a great thing that WWE does because they identify this as a problem. But still business as usual for them. Well, yeah, I but think, I mean... I think if WWE wanted to put their money where their mouth is, then they would stop sinking all this money into, you know, shitty movies that come straight to DVD that nobody watches. <laughs> and, you know, I don't know, Maybe buy that's these guys that's drivers, or do itself, something like that, because clearly they're going to party and get fucked up, uh, whether they're having drivers or not. So, I mean, I don't know. Mm-hmm. More, more, pay, Maybe pay more attention to the talent than the product you know what i mean is there like an hr with something like wwe yes 
Is there? I mean, there, there, is, there is, but, but it I bet be. it's fucking worthless. Well, there, there, there has to be an HR. Maybe, maybe Mad Mike can 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 attend. I mean, there there has to be for you know for the employees. But remember, these guys are like independent contractors, or however they classify them, and they're on the road. I mean, is there like? I wonder, should there be a traveling therapist? <laughs> oh well, that'd be a whole nother, you know, or or not entirely a straight up therapist. I want to say social worker type of position. Like these are people that are that are dealing with issues. They're people of a strong personality, and uh, and maybe that's something that people need to you know maybe need some help with. And they have somebody that maybe there should be an evaluation. Wow, I, I, this is getting really heady, but you know, I, I'm just proposing. Mm-hmm. You know, what what do you guys think about that? I mean, we should there should you know this, this, this entertainment is always a strong personality type of thing it's psychology that's why they get into something like this that's why they put themselves in front of people you know uh how many comedians are the most fucked up people that you know you know if if they didn't bring in um on the road psychologists or psychologists or psychiatrists or social workers after he who must not be named did his thing yeah yeah, exactly then they're not going to do it for a bunch of drunk assholes but then it (laughs) no no and i'm speaking to you know this being the bigger over overarching problem not just a few duis here and there i'm sure they really kind of shrug that off for the most part you know because i mean i'm sure you know uh, DUIs happen. They go drink. They're going to party. It's not going to change. I think it's going to be the philosophy there. Right. So it's a, yeah. like like uh, LB said. It's a part of the business. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean it's and, and that's uh, all there is to it. That I mean it's the nature of the beast. You know, mm-hmm. there's no really getting that around beast. it. Beast. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Severn. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> what? This is all you did Dan there. Yeah, yeah, I saw you did there. Yeah, thanks. I Riz, got, Riz got is it. on the page with us. Well, on that note, uh, hey, yeah, let's take a moment talk about our affiliate this week. Ben, when our affiliate because we like we like well, no we hate books. We like the information contained within. Yes, we still want to absorb such information. And Reading sucks. that is not what we like in our paper. <clears throat> we like people to read us. <laughs> what <laughs> read to us. Read to us. Read okay. To us. <laughs> read um, us, read to us, whatever. But anyways, you know, one of one of those ways is audible, audiblepodcast.com slash Sorgatron Media is where you can get your free free audio book, yours to keep. You can try a service with Audible for fourteen days. That includes an iPhone app, the Android app, uh, and I think that's all they're on. iPad it works on. Um, and uh, yeah, I've been using this, it's been great for some uh, of my travels. Uh, across the greater Pittsburgh area <laughs> to them wrestling shows out in bumfuck West Newton. Um, bumfuck. Hi, Rick. hi, Wills. Hi there. Hey. <laughs> um, and, but so, I, you know, it, it, it's a really cool and, it, and I've been able to read some books, some really nice books that uh, I haven't had a chance to. Uh, yeah. And Riz, Riz has a very special selection that you can check out with this deal. Read and yes, got do. too hard. Now, this isn't, well, it's a book, but it's a very special book. A very special book. Uh, now, like it's my turn to remember when. Remember when you were a child and mm. someone older uh, sat you down for bed for your bedtime and told you a bedtime story about unicorns, rainbows, princes saving the princesses, and whatnot. What? Do you what guys remember the, that? What the fuck no, are you talking about? That, no, I, no, I don't remember. No, I, know you. I know what's up. Okay. <laughs> well, you want to know what they were thinking when you did that? Go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> exactly. And when you when you go on to audible.com audiblepodcast.com slash Sorgatron Media, you can get that feeling when you download Go to Fuck to Sleep and hear the smooth stylings of Samuel L. Jackson. Fantastic. Mm. Fantastic. Uh yeah, this has been one that's kind of gone around a bit. Uh, it's, it's, a uh, and I think <laughs> some people actually play them. <laughs> gonorrhea. kids. I mean, I wonder if this is an effect. Like gonorrhea. Like, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I get it. Hey, Russell fan. Um, Russell fan? Hmm. Yes, Chachi. Go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna. Oh, it's loaded. All the kids from daycare are in dreamland. The froggy has made his last leap. <laughs> Hell no, you can't go to the bathroom. You know where you can go? The f- <laughs> to sleep. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that gives you an idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's unedited. No, this is it is, un- it is uncensored. Unabridged. Yeah, but it is. Of course, for the preview, yeah. it's going to be a little censored. Um, <laughs> a little it's bit. actually, actually, even if you don't do the thing, it's a dollar ninety-five. Hell no, you can't go to it's the a bathroom. Dollar. Go get a good book. Get, get a, no, get, go get a longer book that's like fifteen mm-hmm. twenty dollars for free. Mm-hmm. But uh, this is a dollar ninety five, and I bet it's worth and it's every Samuel penny. motherfucking that's Jackson. Right. But if you're really like, I just want to check that out. Go audiblepodcast dot com slash Sorgatron Media, and you can get that for free. Because <laughs> why wouldn't you? I think everybody should have a copy of this hanging around. So it was they were Absolutely. like giving they were giving it away what for free. It was a yeah. promotion for a while. They're giving away free for to everybody. Uh, but uh, it was pretty tremendous. Pretty tremendous so hey you know what's happening in the world of wrestling former wwe former wwe wrestler haku admits to he bit the nose off a man who called pro wrestling fake (laughs) yeah Uh, you guys hear about this this was from uh james gutman brendan's show over at worldwrestlinginsanity.com uh yeah it was a haku shoot and let me see i can pull uh this is my life as a parent's family he took it personally when people would criticize his family, wrestling family unfairly. He uh, would simply prove <laughs> the reality of his ability when people tossed around the word fake. Uh, yeah. Bottom line, you don't fuck with Haku. He's like, it's Haku, it's Ming. Like, you don't, you don't, no, no. <laughs> Sorry, I... In the chat room? Yes. What's going on in the chat room? I hate these fucking kids in this motherfucking bed. <laughs> <laughs> I just happened to look down and I saw that. I was like, oh, wait. Oh, jeez. So, uh, Sorry, yeah. Don't so fuck anyways, with Haiku. Don't fuck with Haiku and go the fuck to bed. <laughs> go um, the fuck to sleep. Pet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this, see, there was there was four guys. He says grabbed his face and bit his nose off. Then the fight started. Then the fight wow. started. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Me and Silva, 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 kind of uh, clean house there and laughed. I'll never forget it. And he laughs. I kind of want to listen to this now. Uh, that's over at Club WWI. I know uh, uh, LB. You were uh, you were a subscriber to that for a bit, I believe. I was, and it was absolutely worth every single penny. Uh, Gutman's a fun guy. I remember reading his blog back. I mean, he he threw a post for us up for us when we first started years ago that gave us a really big push there at the beginning. Uh, and, and it was it's such an entertaining blog, and and his his interviews got to be pretty tremendous. I think actually I think I've heard his books a are good too. His books. Oh yeah, what is his books? It was. Uh, I know he did World Wrestling Insanity, and he did. Um, uh, the other one was Shoot First, Ask Questions Later. And they're probably not available on audible.com. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> but go to fuck the sleep is. Yes. yes, it is. <laughs> but you yes, can get is. millions of titles available at audible.com. Uh, no, no, Chachi, the commercial's over. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just keeping <laughs> yeah. it going. His life is a commercial. Okay. Okay. Go to fuck the sleep. Go the fuck to sleep. Go to the fuck to the next story. So uh, we saw something interesting on Hell in a Cell. We saw the presentation of the new old. old Intercontinental yes. Championship. And you know what I say? What do you say? I say, welcome back. <laughs> welcome. Yep. Welcome back, welcome old friend. Back. Welcome back. <laughs> yes, I mean, he, he came out, he showed it off, and was immediately defending it in his suit against John Morris. And let me point out so weird. that he wrestled in his Gucci shoes. Gucci mm. shoes. I'd just like to point I that out. I every time. Which is the only JR time. Said the that. only time I agree with Michael Cole, who was just like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Why the fuck is he wrestling in that a was, suit? That was a little weird. That was kind of a little really bit weird. Uh, well, I, I'm less pissed off about the whole thing happening now that it w- he had a match. Mm-hmm. Because seriously, if they would have wasted pay-per-view time I'm just for, doing that. Yeah, for him to come out with the belt, I would have been pissed. Yeah. No, I, I, I don't agree with that. I mean, I think the, the whole him doing the thing with the Intercontinental title... Definitely meant something. Mm. It felt like it meant something. Well, it, and Mike says it's a new title belt because it has the new oh, logo. Yeah, but I mean, but it has to style. have the new logo. It's the old style. But it means yeah. something. You know, it's that thing. I the, remember seeing, um, I, mean, I think in the Google chat or the Google Plus uh, thread, uh, now bring back the, uh, the, winged, the winged eagle belt. Yeah. I was thinking the yeah. same thing. I was like, you know, Joey Styles that. tweeted that. Oh, was it Joey Styles? Mm hmm. I totally agree. I think they should bring it back. 
I prefer he the one. He said the spinner uh, belt uh, stinks on ice or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Here's a little bit. Of, here's a little bit of Cody Rhodes from and the WWE.com. China certainly wasn't that guy. People tarnished this title. Ezekiel Jackson, really? This is the title that was synonymous with greatness, and I am certainly nothing but great. Cody, isn't giving the title a makeover just an extension of your recent obsession with appearance? Obsession. It's all obsession. I'm obsessed love, with like, appearances. The this, this whole character, this, this was an accident. People this character ugly. happened, right? I mean, mm-hmm. he legit mm-hmm. got like smashed in the face and had to, had to leave for a little bit, and it went to this. Hey, I love it. I mean, the mileage he's awesome got shit. now, the space mask over. character is tremendous. Dude. Oh, yeah. But still, it's like the cane disfigured, but I'm not disfigured. Right. Thing. So, um, and, and you had a little bit of the Bob, the Bob Wharton, uh, I'm wearing the cast far too long for this to be. Uh, <laughs> I think what, one of the cool things about that belt is he put it on the white leather, like what the woman oh, did yeah. way back when. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. And does anybody notice that the, uh, I, I don't know if it's just since Henry's been around, uh, the, the world, world heavyweight title has been on a, uh, red backing. Yeah. 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 I think so, it was before Henry, was but yeah. Before? I mean that, that that seemed like a little more recent of a of a development there. Um, so I mean I I like what they're doing with that. I, I and uh, so far, I mean it's it's I think he's it has been a bit to it. You know he he's been fighting a bunch of different people. It's not just like I'm going to feud with Daniel Bryan for three weeks in a row and nobody cares. You know yeah. it, it just there's just more to it. And uh, I really like this rejuvenating of these belts and making it making it something. Uh, oh. yeah, a little bit of mirroring to that. Dolph Ziggler was on uh, doing his you know doing his spiel on uh, Zack Ryder's internet show, kind of saying the same thing. Um, and uh, then they started throwing them in tag team matches. Yeah. <laughs> so, but still, I mean, I mean, there's, there's this throw. I go back to this. The, these throwbacks we're doing, we're we're rejuvenating a tag team division. We have a manager with a stable starting the form. I think she should be a stable for all those guys that were in the twelve man last night. I think that should oh, just yeah. be her stable for the yeah. most part, other than like maybe Alberto or something like that. Well, I, Alberto wouldn't be in it anyhow. No, no, he needs his own thing. Yeah. It doesn't need unless there's some kind of business associate thing <laughs> they could work out there. You know, turn them into a faction, and maybe with this stuff going on, maybe that's when it, what's going to happen with the whole lawyer thing. Um, her turning at Raw. <laughs> I, and by the way, this came up next. Uh, Look at you the, being all clever and shit. I don't know. That's what that's 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 that was not new. I didn't come up with that. Uh, it's on the chat, I think. What? I don't know. I, I, somebody said that. Um, did you guys, Who's that like? The vent, yeah. Uh, the vengeance uh, commercial actually came up right right after that. Oh Holy right. oh, they they shit, Mark Henry! It came up right Speaking after he won the match. What I, yeah, what I, did, I tell from did. the vengeance pay per view, which is actually going to be in San Antonio, and I'm actually going to. Nice. Um, what I tell from the commercial is that Mark Henry is going to rape me. <laughs> he probably will. Mark, Mark Henry wow. does love children. Wait, do you already have tickets? Yeah, I do already oh, have tickets. Oh, no, you know, no. I'm getting raped. They're rape, they're, <laughs> rape is inevitable. Welcome to college. Um, <laughs> You're my prison bitch. My prison bitch. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Free oh, rape Bobby. with purchase. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's so wrong. Where do we go from there? Um, but um, yeah, I keep forgetting there's another pay per view before Survivor Series because I'm like, yeah. I'm looking at everything. Like, how does this lead the Survivor Series? We know The Rock and Cena are gonna yeah. team up in some capacity. We're pretty sure there's gonna be some NWO ish faction. Is mm-hmm. is the rumblings? Um, somebody get yeah. And I mean, well, yeah. And the, somebody, honestly, people, uh, the pay per view was. <laughs> I'm kind sorry, of, I saw a chat room. Somebody but going to get their <laughs> clip ripped. <laughs> Sonic. Sonic. Oh, oh. Sonic yeah, that was Bobby F. J. <laughs> Sonic Screwjob <laughs> said the freshman 15 inches. Yeah. Really? Do you think Mark Henry's that big? Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> not. Let's glaze over this. Let's move on. Okay. Um, well, that meant, and well, I mean, many people were talking about how the pay per view was a little bit lackluster. What? But I, what? That was kind of understandable show. since they only had two weeks to build the thing. Wait, I hold on, not. stop. No, no, no. Who said it was lackluster? Yeah. What was a was shitty pretty, match uh, on that? I thought that it had its moments. No. Well, I don't think it was. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You there fucking was, dumb. I think it, it, it was good, but there was one match that you know really made me stop and think. Uh, there were a couple. Why can't? What's that? There were a couple. 
Why can't I Sin Cara fucking wrestle? Yeah. yeah. You I know what? No, stop. Stop. Right. Right. Look, look Time at out. Hunico and uh, 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 Mystico, all right? Those two guys, when they were in CML or whatever, they were fucking huge. Gigantic stars in Mexico. They were like, everybody considered them some of the best wrestlers in the world. And now, both of them Bobby considerably F. are fucking uh, blowing spots every single night. Yeah. Why? What is my, wrong? My, it's a lighting. When someone pointed out about that match, the problem was they didn't establish anyone in this feud as a heel. Yeah. I, you know, I, I, I was confused. Did they didn't give us any the reason heel? to hate the black and silver <laughs> thing. Hard. The matter. only thing they did was change the They music. can't fucking whoa, whoa. get their moves down. Yeah. And then, and, but, I mean, like, and it wasn't it was like two weeks fish, going at it. There was no... <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, Riz, Riz, I wow. think it wants to say something here. Riz, can you cut through this anger with a knife? <laughs> The only, the only thing that they did to really specify which one's which was not only change the colors, which was pretty stupid, but they also changed the music. And they still have the stupid guy having lighting. weird, like, cow-sounding music. Why did they have the lighting, though, during the match? Doesn't that, like, cancel out? <laughs> yeah, a little you know bit. What? A little bit. Hmm? No, I disagree. What? I like the Sin Cara match. You like the Sakara match? It was good for what it was, but I mean, it was good. It was a good match. But now, yeah. but okay. match. It was so who Sakara wins? Now what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It was a match. Okay. Okay. They matters. didn't. And it, they and didn't it. build the storyline. Therefore, the story doesn't matter. It's the match. For the sake of having a fucking match, you know, you, you, you can car versus <laughs> sin car you know, storyline. I, I think you need to build something. I mean, you know, I, I, well, they didn't. It's so an move on. It's an undercard match. They're not gonna build anything. They're Mexicans. That's the build. That's all the build <laughs> yeah. Rey Mysterio has ever had. He's Mexican in short. <laughs> 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 They're Mexican. They should build their own stuff. I, I, <laughs> look, there's two Aww. Mexicans. They look similar. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> Mexican. Oh, I guess you're right. I, I whatever. The only that match was sponsored by Home Depot. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> the only match on the pay per view that I didn't particularly uh, particularly care for was the women's match and. That's because that I just got to know. Even it, it, it was a fine bad. match. It was a fine match. Wait, wait, I just wait, annoyed wait. Cause they, are you, they have completely dropped the ball on the Beth Phoenix thing. So wait, are you pulling for the sink the, the women's match over the Sin Cara match? Well, no, I thought they were both kind of. The Sin Cara match was, I think, a little bit better. Yes, but I mean, we hope that you would be pulling uh, for the women's <coughs> match over the. That's true. Yeah, I just right. think they've completely dropped the ball on this Beth Phoenix thing. Well, according to you, they dropped the ball in every match for the pay-per-view. I then. didn't say every match. I thought the Hell in <laughs> Cell matches were good. So far, we've done two matches, and you didn't like either of them. It was a bad, well, it's a bad that's start. That's because they yeah. both weren't that great. What oh, no. did you like? How about Sheamus versus Christian? Did you that like that? That was an okay match. That was an okay match. That was we weren't an okay excited match. about that for being an you, opening match. You get the, that was an amazing match. You put Sheamus and you put Christian in the ring, and it's going to be a good match. Yeah, yeah, for an opener, and it's good. It was amazing it was, for an opener. It was a good match. Yeah, it was a good yeah, for WWE good. B pay-per-view opener. Mm -hmm. Wow. Russell wow. fan. I just Russell don't fan, think that it was on the caliber of the pay-per-views that they've had so far, and the reason for that is because they had two weeks to build it. Well, that's always the case. This is always you know this is always no. They had four. They usually have you know? four, three weeks yeah. to build it. And, and for that, I mean, okay, you know, okay, yeah, again, you know, I'm not paying forty five dollars for this. You're not paying forty five dollars for this. It's not that's worth true. it. You know, it'll be great when we see all uh, all these included in our subscription for WWE Network next year. Uh, but for now, <laughs> taking it as it is, as a wrestling show. As a wrestling show let's, is fine. Let's forget the fact that none of this wrestling is worth the money that they want us to sink into it. No, That's a go not. foregone I mean, conclusion on this show. Right. But as a show, as a guy as to a see show, the show. Fine. I'm not saying anything bad about the show. Okay. Like I said, I love the two Hell in the Cell matches. The tag match was great. I thought, um, what other matches were on the card? We covered them. Yeah, that was... uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, the ladies and the Mexicans in the main event. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. That's, that's it. it. That was a good pay per view. It was it. solid up and down. The only thing with the pay per view that I wasn't particularly thrilled with mm -hmm. was the ending to the main event. What's your problem with the main event ending? Not now. This you said the match, not the yeah the not match, the not the pay per view. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I I didn't like the whole let's lock John Cena out of the cage and thing. really yeah I didn't like that. I I, I see I, Chachi. I see where you're coming from. 
I just I just hate it from the fact that they had Cena win the belt for two weeks. And they there had, was did why they, did Cena have to go in as champion for ten? Uh, they had to get him ten. They had mm-hmm. to give him 10, yeah. you think? Mm-hmm. They, I mean, it yeah. would have been much better to have Del Rio go in there as champion. Yeah, but okay. now Del Rio has two. Yeah, but I mean, come on. It's just and in twenty. Ridiculous. Yeah, but in 20 years, it's not going to be like, yeah, but it was just for two weeks. Yeah. yeah. No one cares. It's just the number. Like, you know, 10-time champion. Yeah. 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 I, I think they're trying to get him. It just annoys me. It just really annoys me. But, I mean, I that's think, the nature of the business, I guess. I think they're trying to get John Cena up to the Ric Flair title range level. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't think they're going to pass him, but they're going to, like, come close. Well, it's like, yeah, yeah it's just they, a, they, no, they, no, they no. stopped Triple H at 13. Yeah. So, I, I, I think I think I respect they're not going to push any of them towards that. Especially and I don't like think they've done, I really don't think they've done right with Del Rio as champion. No? Either, either time. Now, come on. I, I, what, you know, I don't like oh, Del oh, oh, Rio oh, oh. the when, character. Who has had... Who has had the Money in the Bank Championship and not been second guessed for that? Right. Edge. First. No. Oh no. Oh. Edge. Edge. Edge won it at New Year's Revolution. Lost Kennedy. It. Lost Edge it. was established. And and Edge no, had he established. wasn't. He no, he was still Edge. questionable. No, he was still questionable. <laughs> uh, and he lost it at the Royal Rumble, and he won it back later, and he had some great I runs still, after that. CM Punk was shit no, on the whole time when I he did. when he had it. Uh, and, you know, the second time Edge got it through Money in the Bank, which he got from Kennedy to begin with. Uh, the Miz was questionable for a while, but actually, you know, okay, I take the back because Miz actually no, held Miz was it. not questionable. The Miz was the, the only guy, and even he was, you, we never saw complaints about him being handled. Uh, I, yeah, but they, I mean, they, of course, had the faith behind Miz because he was so good with the media. Yeah, yeah, and that, that's one of the few instances, the very few yeah. instances that they've been able to do that. I just with. don't, I, I, I get nobody's that. Gonna I be happy when, that. Nobody's going to be happy if Daniel Bryan gets the belt and whatever they do with him for the first three months. No, I know, but I mean, I, I don't, I mean, I'm just saying with both reigns as champion. Okay. Bobby I and I just the same way, you know, way, way. Even on Raw, he didn't. Even, uh, nothing on Raw made him seem like a champion. Well, I, the overarching story kind of shattered. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, guess. That's but just, I mean, like that's just the cut, nature of what happened. They cut his entrance in the main event. Uh-huh. Like they, it just. But there were know, twelve guys just, coming in. Yeah, there were twelve fucking guys in the ring. Of course I know. Gonna, he's the, the, he's I mean, it doesn't the fucking the, matter. The man comes in on a stretch fucking limo with the rest of the six guys. You exactly. know, there, there you go. Uh, Riz, I'm sorry, you're trying to break through here. Ah, okay. The like guy said it first, then Bobby said it on the on the, in the chat. But what about Jack Swagger? What about he, Jack Swagger? Jack Swagger beat the big he's show. Not, he was he was questionable, wasn't he? Not okay. Yeah, yeah, Was exactly. He, okay, exactly. And he's one of those guys where you you'll be ran with the belt and you didn't see it for a while. You know, I, I see him on the level with the CM Punk. You know, who the fuck cares about? I mean, Jack you know, you go. How, I mean, how, most of these guys he want. He won the Money in the Bank, so yeah. Who remembers that? Because most of those, most of those guys, you know, they went in that style with Money in the Bank, and they're going to make. Is he really a champion? Does he deserve it? They throw that question over their head uh, through the entire run. You know, no, I agree. I agree completely. I just, I just, I just find it weird. I don't Listen, know. Listen, if you really still have a problem with it, just let's settle it down. The guy's Mexican. And he's being, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, he's Mexican. And he's paying against. off people. Uh, just the chalk it up Mexican. for racism and let's move on to the next topic. Yeah. Um, uh, next, uh, th- something I wanted to point out: um, no multi-million cares. dollar wrongful dismissal lawsuit filed against WWE. Oh yeah. Did anyone see this? No, I, I Wait, saw the. Who, who was this? Uh, independent wrestler Devin Nicholson has filed a oh, wrongful dismissal was, was, slash breach of contract uh, the hip. against WWE in which he is seeking nearly $6 million. <laughs> the lawsuit what? is based on WWE offering him a standard contract in June of 2009 and then rescinding the contract in August of 2009 upon the discovery during the company's pre screen medical testing that Nicholson has hepatitis C. The lawsuit seeks six hundred thousand dollars for dismissal and or breach of contract, two hundred fifty thousand for damages for injury to dignity, feelings, and self respect, and five million dollars oh, in aggravated and punitive damages. Wait, wait, wait! So can we can sue, sue for can people sue for hurting, our hurting feelings? your feelings, Wrestle fan. You're going to be rich off this show. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give them ideas. No, no. <laughs> now I have to run out and lawyer up. 
Yeah, because I yeah, called baby. WrestleFan a I fucking child. Get so David $50,000 for hurting my feelings. You can be attorney <laughs> at Mayhem. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to need to. Yeah. This was a, But yeah, this was apparently the same guy that also filed a lawsuit against Abdullah the Butcher because he claimed he was the one that infected him with the disease. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, which was an old contra... And I think they released a documentary about it, of how Abdullah using his old fork gimmick has caused, you know, wrestlers to get hep C or something. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. They have an entire documentary about Abdullah the Butcher causing hep C with a fork. Yeah. <laughs> no. And WWE, a uh, representative for WWE stated that it was not specifically due to the disease, but due to licensing issues, as five states bar wrestlers from competing with hep C. Right. Why is WrestleFan yeah. yelling? There's that, it's not in their control. Yeah. In all honesty, I highly doubt this guy's going to get anything from it. No, he's not, because uh-huh. you can't sue someone not. for uh, <laughs> rescinding a contract that is uh, based or contingent upon <laughs> the screenings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because they give, they offer him the contract and say, this is what we're going to give you if you pass the drug and the medical. And he didn't pass the medical. Right. So. So mm-hmm. it's bottom line. I, I I agree. I think it's kind of stupid in all honesty, but I mean, yeah. Fuck that guy. Have fun in your hobo camp. <laughs> <laughs> what? The fuck? what? Okay. Did I say the wrong? <laughs> wow. You know, I, you know, to all the hobos that are listening to the show right yeah, now. Fuck the hobos. They don't have internet. Yeah, hobos don't have internet. Nebraska? No, fuck Nebraska. Nebraska doesn't have Nebraska. internet. <laughs> So angry. So angry. A um, Russell fan made me angry. I didn't do shit. I just brought up the news. No. <laughs> you wow, you sat there and said that you hated the pay-per-view, and I then you said you I didn't hate, hate the, the pay-per-view. pay-per-view. I said it wasn't as good as past pay-per-view. You're an ass. I, I hate the pay-per-view. <laughs> You're an ass. I, I got guys the feeling that... Chachi versus WrestleFan is the 2.0 version of uh, wow. Mad Mike versus WrestleFan. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody has to take over the flag from there. I'm uh, sorry, Chachi, that I have standards. Shut your mouth. You don't. You're a fetus. <laughs> <laughs> talk up another lawsuit. All right. So um, let's talk about um, let's talk about uh, the vote of no confidence. You WrestleFan. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you say? I don't know. I, said five, I sang five hundred thousand dollars to wrestle fan, uh, referencing earlier when you can sue for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that Stop thing. You means I do. Like, Wheels, what do you money. think of all this? Wow, <laughs> that's all I got to say. I don't. It's wow. Good. I mean, moving on. I have oh. to say, wrestle fan, you can't expect every show to be a top notch show. There's going to no, be no. No, and I don't expect shows. that. But I'm just saying. I'm pointing out it wasn't a top-notch show. Oh, they're calling for they're calling for uh, Chachi and WrestleFan to have a rap battle. Yeah, that's not happening. I I'm I'm not like see it I though. put my money on Chachi. I mean, yeah, Chachi's, Chachi's the closest thing. Chachi's at least. I'm not even going to go there. Fuck that. I don't know about freestyle or anything like. <laughs> no, that. I can't freestyle. No, no I I'm, can't work shit. No, terrible. Definitely not. No, absolutely not. Hey, WrestleFan. Yeah. How much did you pay for that pay per view? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, which, is not not rip, which is not why I'm not ripping into threads, which I'm saying it was okay. You get what you pay from for. Now on, you pretend I know, you paid five dollars for a pay per view. Hey, we'll I paid five bucks for the pay per view. I paid five bucks for your mother. Yeah. For an HBO. Oh, 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 Jesus. Oh, whoa. Did you catch that? <laughs> No, <laughs> that's okay. We're moving on. Yeah, we're moving on. I don't want you to sue Wrestle Fan for uh, hurt feelings. Um, <laughs> Mad, Mad Mike bought the pay per view and liked it a lot. There you go. Well, there you go. There you go. Yeah, you know, I thought they were good Hell in Cell matches. Uh, Mark Henry, I, I think, has arrived. Mark Henry has arrived, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, he just I, arrived after 50 years. <laughs> after 15 years, he's finally he's arrived arrived after and, second and, and become a force in the WWE. You know, one of the few people there since it was the WWF. Almost um, having sex with the tranny. You know, his son comes so far from having sex with a hand. Can we um, talk about the vote of no confidence? Hey, he didn't have sex with his hand. His face <laughs> Okay. No. Go. Oh, we're just going to bypass your, it. Okay. What is up hey, with the vote of no confidence that ended the show last night? Let's talk about it. Triple H sucks. 
What do you mean, triple? I'm, I'm going to beat That's you. That's what they said, basically. I'm going to beat you. That's what um, they said, basically. Uh, are you feeling for Mr. Did Triple H? Triple H you Sorg, suck. What did you think about the vote of no confidence, Sorg? What did I think about it? He doesn't want to talk about it. It was it. hard to watch at 3 in the morning. Uh, it was. Yeah. was my it was thing. hard to watch at any time in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, we just laughed so hard, though. Yeah, when I the, just laughed. We, when that, the cameraman that, dropped that was a hell of a way to end a show. It was. <laughs> Yeah, they're the really best part big. was Jr. was the only one sitting there. Mm-hmm. He's just staring at Triple H. Yeah. Then he just left. <laughs> What's really was, sad is, I mean, if you're a fan in that arena, you're sitting there. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is definitely the end of the show. So, what do we care about this, anyways? Yeah. yeah. I wanted the fans to start walking out, and then him just standing in an empty arena. <laughs> if they were going to do like that, a, they should have like did a big it at the beginning of the show so he could panic, like, all right, how am I going to put on a show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, what are they doing tonight for SmackDown, you know? I mean, are no they idea. not having they SmackDown? No you know? What it was going to... Did, did I mention... It was weird when they were, like, bringing people out because they brought out... Like, they did, a, they did it weird. Like, they broke everyone up into sections. Yeah. And, like, four people came out for SmackDown and were all, like... Wait, so SmackDown only has four guys that are being... Yeah. And one of them for- was Titus O'Neil. And one of them the was Titus O'Neil. We're like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Well, Cena, Orton, yep. or CM Punk weren't there. Yeah. yeah. Neither was uh, neither was uh, Kelly Kelly or Eve. But right. the referee it- showed up. So you know, next... Oh, no Mike music. Mike Keown is scared. A- He's going to get hurt on the job. That's and right. back to, you know what, something Wrestle Phoenix. fan said earlier? Yeah, they've fucking dropped the ball on Beth Phoenix because she got up and said... Girls. What do you mean we're just girl girls? We're scared. We're just girls. Like, come you're on. The on. How the hell are you slapped, a girl? Uh, slapped fucking Greg Kali in the Royal Rumble. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> You've been fighting for this, oh, we're dominant females, and now you're going to talk about, oh, we're just girls. We can get hurt. Like, come the fuck on. Mm-hmm. Apparently, CM Punk had a whole rant on Twitter about why he didn't show up. I'm looking it up now. Okay, yeah, you, you want to you wanna <laughs> fill us in on that? Uh, JR, or, uh, I'm sorry, Lawler walked out. Uh, Lawler was the first off. to walk out. So he just got Lawler's done there, blood, but apparently. he's not actually announcing. He just walks out. Well, uh, fuck you. <laughs> and he deserved to get the anal bleeding. The, fan, the fans were chanting anal bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> uh, Mad Mad Mike, Mad Mike, uh, it, what the hell? Heels like Chris Jericho, but things is a heel. You guys, she was saying that to get get rid of Triple H. Uh, and it was, I don't you know, care. It was mostly heels and everything. They you fucked know. her. Uh, they fucked that storyline so much. Oh jeez, come on. It's I, I do kind of. They wish, have. I do kind of wish Karma would just kind of show up after. Yes, someone. she. Right. I think she has like yeah. four more months. Holy you know. shit! What's that? What the fuck? What are you doing? <laughs> no, there's a lot of them. Is it on, on his uh, Twitter? Yeah. Bobby of J-Town just said, Lawless should have just said, my ass is on fire, dropped the mic, and walked out. Get it? Because he pooped blood. <laughs> oh, no, all I see is the most uh, fun I've ever had at Kmart since <laughs> Heather Kobe worked at Bell Road. No, it says... uh. I think a lot of people are missing the point. Fans and co-workers are like, walking out is a pussy move. There's a huge difference in what I did. I want change, and I can't change shit from my couch. I'm in the foxhole. I'm getting it done. I stayed to fight, and I'm fighting for change. And that's a little bit like what You we- can protest violently or peacefully without actually showing up. Walking out isn't a solution. At least not one I've ever seen work. Hold them up. Make them change. Don't just walk out or lay down. Fight. This goes for fans as well. Bored? Don't like it. John Cena? Want more Zack Ryder? Show up and be heard. Don't be a pussy and just tweet about it. I want change and I'll stand and fight for it even if I'm alone. Popular or unpopular? I could care less. Take your voting and shove it. Action Fuck speaks, yeah. Actions speak louder than words except mine. My words are pretty awesome. <laughs> no, think about all that and hopefully you'll get it. Wow, this is from two hours ago. Let's see. That's that's pretty crazy. Okay, right though. So I guess they're doing something with that on SmackDown. Can I can I counter <laughs> with uh, somebody else's tweets? Hmm. Wait, hold on. Oh, where's it? You want you LB can go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um. Let's see here. 
Hold on, I gotta find a good one. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's looking for Phil. 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 Okay. Phil. All right. Phil. Phil. This is Phil. hell in this pay per view. A uh, former writer turned sexual predator on the lamb asking me to start a Twitter campaign for him. What's a hashtag? What the Kicking the shit out of my monitor in gorilla. In gorilla, throwing a water bottle at this new writer's assistant kid just knocked his knocked off his big ass hipster headphones. Is that CM Punk? <laughs> well defined Jiminy Cricket creature pleading with me not to violate anyone slash anything against their will tonight due to New Orleans parish laws. Who is this person? Next, next tweet violating new hipster writer's assistant with this eco friendly <laughs> water bottle here in motherfucking gorilla. Fuck you. Who Next is tweet, this? Down with a muscle milk. Hashtag hell in the cell. <laughs> <laughs> Who this is, is this person? The, this is possibly the greatest uh, greatest Twitter account of our modern age. Cranky Vince. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was looking. He the, said. Incredible. Uh, he said, don't like Triple H's CO. Punch him in the face. I did. It's wrestling, <laughs> not the NBA. <laughs> oh, and, that's, then, that's... and then someone <laughs> said, uh, someone sent him a tweet that says, Triple H is still CEO, though. You failed. And he responded, I wanted Vince gone. You failed. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> so nice, nice. Um, wow, yeah. So it, it, I, I like this extension that uh, Twitter is doing uh, with these guys and their uh, and their promos. This is. Uh, I didn't know he tweeted until. What's that? I didn't even know he responded on Twitter. 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 Yeah. On the Twitter. On yeah. Twitter. On Twitter. On Twitter. On Twitter. So all Who's right, guys. Punk. Hmm? Or cranky vents. Let's see him punk. Hmm. Oh yeah. He- tweeted my tweet once no i mean i didn't know he responded to what happened on raw in oh, twitter oh. form mm-hmm. oh, i thought you were talking you'll see that a lot though you'll see that yeah so um on that note guys let's wrap it up tell me what did you learn from wrestling this week wrestle fan oh god oh lordy <laughs> i learned um from wrestling Next. this week that when you get in a car accident um, you, you, you lose your unibrow. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I learned. Hold on, let me see if I can find a picture of him from last night. Because oh, if you didn't know, Santino Morello returned. Yeah. And started, oh no, and he started like speaking gibberish with uh, Ginger Mahal. I had the idea that I hope that they use this car accident thing as like a gold dust gimmick. As like instead of him getting to rest, that he's he going speaks crazy. different languages. Well, and can I just say it when you said gender mahal, it sounded almost like you said ginger mahal. <laughs> That's what I heard. Ginger <laughs> mahal. Yeah, I heard no ginger. Soul. Yeah, and I like that your hairstyle is now reflecting uh Mr. Santino Morella. So uh let's see if we can uh, Fine. Yeah, there he is with his hair, his awesome hair going on with well, his gender. Um, Ginger, Ginger Mahal. Ginger. But look at this hair. Where did that head of hair come from? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? There he is. Yeah, there he is. Um, it, it's weird. It's weird. He seems fuzzier and and awkward. Um, he seems fuzzier. He seems fuzzy and awkward. Yeah, that's where I'm going with. LB, what did you learn from wrestling this and no other week, sir? Um, I learned I learned two things. Uh, one, uh. The biggest face in the WWE right now is Triple H. The biggest heel is John Laurinaitis, and neither of those mean a goddamn thing. And uh, the biggest thing that I learned is from our friend Cranky Vince. If you think about a hummingbird for more than five seconds, your head will explode, so don't <laughs> think about a fucking hummingbird. You crazy animal. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Riz, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Uh, I learned um, that Justin, the announcer guy, whatever, whatever, Justin Roberts. Justin mm-hmm. Roberts. Yeah, I learned that he plays favorites. Uh, <laughs> I saw that note. He, he said Alberto Del Rio normal, mm-hmm. CM Punk normally, mm-hmm. and then did his whole yeah. Long- Cena. That. Yep. 
Yep. Yeah, yeah. We walked out with the timekeeper. And we all screamed <laughs> for the timekeeper in the Google chat. <laughs> what? Timekeeper, no! <laughs> uh, Wheels, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Uh, what did I learn? Just watching the end of Raw made me learn that if all the wrestlers come back next week, they will be booed. <laughs> and there's only one face, and that's Triple H. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. okay. Uh, from the chat room real quick before we get to you, Chach, uh, we have... Yes, you're going to wait. I'm going to make you wait. What the fuck did I do to piss you off? I, <laughs> so, I, nothing, nothing. I just He's suing you I'm for $250,000. That's uh, what he's doing. <laughs> no, uh, you're Sonic, suing them. Sonic Screwjob learned that only uh, two cameramen suck... <laughs> Uh, stuck with Triple H, so sorry, Chachi. Next week's Raw will be a cage match from 15 feet away. Motherfucker. Bad <laughs> uh, Mike says he learned that I only enjoy hearing the I that I enjoy hearing the uh, camera people saying "Let's go." Bobby F J Town learned that Mark Henry, uh, when he comes uh, to Texas, oh, oh, avoid Mark Henry when he comes to Texas. Also, you learned that someone from TNA may just cross the pickle line. Picket line. Pickle line. The pickle line. It's hard to read these on the phone. I'm sorry. something on their mind. Pickles. Somebody, that, never this mind. is cucumber. Uh, and Ciro learned that Triple H has the power to turn the whole roster heel in one single segment. <laughs> so now he's going to squash them all. Um, yeah. Pedigree, I, pedigree, pedigree. I, um, heard, uh, I heard someone say that after the after uh, Triple H had to tear down the entire set. Yeah, he, had to, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was now the ring crew. Uh, <laughs> and also, uh, Mad Mike that learned been that the perfect touch. Uh, honestly, Mad Mike learned that he's still uh, undefeated, and I learned that uh, I am. Not gonna win this season. Not. <laughs> I thought I won. I thought I beat LB. What the you fuck were, you happened? Were very, it was a very, very. What the close fuck match. happened? Everything was. I checked it after the match. game that, on Sunday. Very, very close match. Mad Mike beat uh, me by like five points. Ah. Uh, uh, it's because you had worthless. someone who doesn't have a quarterback to throw it to. I know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, Chachi. Well, I learned that um, Russell fans a bitch. <laughs> so we'll start with that. All right. Five thousand more dollars. Five thousand dollars. <laughs> hey, Feuds, shut up, bitch. New <laughs> Anyhow, um, I learned that next week's RAW is going to be a combination of. Uh, there's going to be one women's match of Kelly Kelly and Eve. Um, and the rest of the matches are going to be filled by John Cena, Randy Orton, and CM Punk. In various combinations. In various combinations. Or oh, wrestling oh, John, John's going to win his 15th title in you one don't, night. Don't forget Sheamus. Sheamus oh, was not show. there. Oh, either. Sheamus day. That's you're, right. Yeah, and then you're Kelly Kelly, so, you know. So, <laughs> Kelly, Kelly. Kelly, 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 Kelly. I, I can't wait to see how this plays out. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, it's something different. Yeah. It's something different. I learned Kelly Kelly's a screamer. And it's not. And again, is goes back to this is kind of what TNA has been doing for the last two years. This yeah. whole like uh, people in power turmoil, <laughs> and they just like kick the shit out of them. Except the yeah. problem with TNA is everyone is in power. Yeah, everybody's in power somehow. And we don't understand. <laughs> I why. love when. The, the, they, if anyone watched Impact, they're doing this thing with Jeff Jarrett and Kaz, and just you like, right yeah, now, if you want, I could fire yeah. you right now. No, nah, it doesn't like, matter. Yeah, you you're, you're, know, the show. you're still a bitch. Go the fuck a st- go the fuck go asleep. Fuck yep. sleep. You're still a bitch. <laughs> go on with what? Sorg. Yes. What did you learn from wrestling this week? I learned. It doesn't matter. Shit, I just had it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. First, correct me if I'm if I'm wrong. But You're wrong. Nobody bled. Sassy time. I heard someone time. else is a bitch. Nobody. Like nobody. I got a huge <laughs> erection. <laughs> no, I do have a pretty big erection. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, it? Come, Good thing we're on. We can do some cock fencing. I thought I pictured that. Okay, go ahead. So nobody bled on Hell in a Cell, right? No. And, uh... Well, no. Didn't miss it. CM Punk has had uh, a cut elbow, but that was it. Yeah, (laughs) it was an accident, yeah. So, so for not having an overly bloody Hell in a Cell, I didn't miss it. Right. 
I didn't yeah. miss it. Uh, I think I made the comment during the Hell in a Cell, the, tr the triple threat. Uh, this is a really good triple threat that just happens to be inside a Hell in a Cell. Right. And then they actually used the cell. They did yeah. something different. I mean, I know, I know some of you didn't like the Cena being locked out. I thought that was a good use of the cell. You know, yeah, I mean, that was, that was smart. Yeah, I like that they didn't try to tear the door off like they've done before. Yeah, yeah. They were yeah. hitting at that so much, too. Yeah. On yeah. WWE.com, they had like the break ins of the cell or something like that. Yeah. I was waiting for him to climb up the cell and try to break through that little trap door thing on the top. <laughs> That's only when in the video game. Get, <laughs> when everyone was like shaking the case to try to get in the cell and Morrison starts climbing it. <laughs> I missed that remember, and on the when other Bobby side, Lashley those... jumped through the wall at uh, Umaga? Yeah, yeah. And like killed him? Oh, yeah. Uh, like, why are you climbing really? the like, cage? There's a roof on top. You can't use parkour for everything. <laughs> All right, so let's get to the contact information before I call WrestleFan a bitch again. And it right, it's good another... to add, yeah, let's not rack it up anymore. So, yeah. guys, if you want to call <laughs> WrestleFan a bitch yourself, you can go over to WrestlingMayhemShow.com or tweet him uh, and I'm us at At Mayhem so much Show. fucking money. Uh, you can, <laughs> you, Shut up, bitch. You can also You're email scared. us, call him a bitch via email at... Good times. Good times. Good times. The wrestling okay, show. 412 wms zero. So you can drunk dial us or wrestle dial. Call me a bitch. Wrestle dial. Can we? Are you call wrestle fan a bitch in person on the uh, the dial phone? Yes, um, this is a show. That's a, <laughs> this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, we are here every Tuesday night, eight thirty p.m. Eastern is when we do it. Is it Tuesday? Uh, if you want, yes, it's Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know what time zone you're in. I think it was Wednesday when we talked to our friend from Scotland earlier. It's um, oh shit! I forgot to show. What? I forgot. It was oh shit! Tuesday. You forgot to show yeah, up. I forgot to yeah. show up. You definitely forgot to show up tonight. Uh, you can check us out on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, Flip TV, uh, and some bitch. other places we're at. Check out the app. Check out everything else. Hey, Chachi, guess where we're going next week? The Comic Con. New York Comic Con. I'll be there. I'll have a camera in hand when I'm not talking, being a press person. If you find my ass, I will have stickers in pocket Whoa. for you. Find this guy. I'm not gonna look find this ass. guy or find that guy. Hey, now, don't point at me. Yeah, well, you'll know where I am usually. Yeah, uh, I, know. I don't know. It's New York City. It's big. I know. Um, but hey, you what if I find a hooker and some blow? That's all I'm saying. All I care is that you give her some it's wrestling mayhem show stickers. Hold up those stickers, Chachi. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Chachi, stickers, don't do it, stickers, Chachi. You, I'll have a handful of stickers for you. You know if, what? If you're running, no. You know what? That's it. What? I am hereby calling a vote of no confidence. What the fuck? Oh, I oh. vote no. Yeah. What you have to you know what? That's LB. Uh, I think I think he's doing fine. Yeah, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Wheels. I think Sword's doing a great job too. Riz. Yeah, why? Not? I'm here. Motherfucker! <laughs> I think, I think everybody just called, called no confidence on you. Walk out, and he's Chachi. walking away. He's walked out. He's gone. <laughs> what he's a gone. Bitch. Chachi just walked off the mayhem show. Uh, hey, it's been fun for the whole crew. Thanks, guys, for joining us. Chachi, Thanks for an excellent bitch. chat room. You guys have been great all night long. Please join us. We'll see you guys next week. Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait.